The 20-page memo written by the president's lawyers in January opens up a huge can of worms for the White House. Actually, not worms. It's more like a writhing hydra of dishonesty. And just like the mythical creature, you chop off one lie and two more emerge in its place. The January letter from the president's lawyers admits that the president dictated what they call a short but accurate response to the fact that Donald Trump Jr. met at Trump Tower with Russians promising dirt on Hillary Clinton. The president dictated, it says. But last July, his attorney Jay Sekulow said... So that wasn't written by the president. He also said... The president didn't sign off on, on anything. And just for good measure, he added... The president was not involved. So dictating without being involved is quite a trick. But just in case you think there's a linguistic wiggle room there, last August, Sarah Sanders said... He certainly didn't dictate. But wait, his lawyers say... The president dictated. He certainly didn't dictate. The president dictated. He certainly didn't dictate. Certainly he did. So say his lawyers. Now, there's a lot of talk about the difference between a lie and a falsehood or untruth. Here, someone is lying. Either the president lied to Jay Sekulow and Sarah Sanders or they lied to us. Now, it's not a crime to lie to the press or the American people. It is a crime to lie under oath, and Donald Trump Jr.'s testimony on this subject is pretty suspect. Leave that aside for now, and forget for a second that the statement the president dictated is wildly misleading in itself, saying the Trump Tower meeting was largely about adoption, when the reason it was set up in the first place was to get dirt from the Russians on Hillary Clinton. But that aside, what's astounding today is Rudy Giuliani's explanation for all of this. Our recollection keeps changing. Your recollection keeps changing? Your recollection? Are you suggesting someone forgot something? What exactly did they forget? When Jay Sekulow said the president wasn't involved, he forgot that he actually was? When Sarah Sanders says he certainly didn't dictate the letter, she did not recollect that he certainly did? It seems, Mr. Mayor, the biggest failure in recollection was the recollection to actually tell the truth.